Hey guys, this is Kerry, and in this video, we're going to be making our first web page using the HTML programming language. If you've programmed with HTML before, uh, you probably know everything in this video, and you're also going to see some things that um, might not be best practices, but in terms of your first exposure to HTML, I think are good choices for us to make. So uh, I encourage you to stay tuned for future videos if you've seen some HTML programming before. Um, but for those of us who's our first programming project, uh, we've got an example web page here, some example code here, but we're not going to be starting with a complete web page. We're actually going to be starting from scratch. So let me close this down. I'm going to leave up this HTML reference for myself uh, for later in the video. So the first thing that you're going to be doing is you're going to be creating a class folder that's going to contain all of the files that you write this whole semester. You're going to create that on the desktop of your computer. So right now we're creating some space in the hard drive in a folder named, uh, let's see, not untitled folder, but control click, rename, uh, carry, and let's put our block number afterwards. So for me, I'll just be in block three. Why not? Now we're going to go into that folder and uh, we're going to create another folder for unit one. Now, after unit one, we're going to create another folder and I'm just going to call this one about me. So now, Next time I look at this folder, if I'm looking for this project, it's very easy for me to do. I go into the block 3 folder, I go into unit 1, and I go into about me. All right, so next up, we actually need to create our web page file. So you can write code in a number of different programs. Basically, all code is is plain text that's interpreted by a different program. So the programs that we write code in are called text editors because all they do is write text. The one that we're going to be using in the class is called Sublime Text. So I'm going to click on Sublime Text here to bring it up, and a blank window pops up for me. If you don't get a blank window and somebody else's code appears on your screen, uh, feel free to call me over because I want to make sure that we don't accidentally delete their code. But in general, what you'll do is you'll do File, New File, uh, and then you can close down whatever code you see uh, that was old. That didn't happen to me though. Uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit using Command Plus and now, before we start editing our file, we need to tell it what programming language we're programming in. Uh, if you look by clicking on this plain text, there's a huge number of choices that we can write code in. The way I like to tell Sublime Text what type of program I'm writing in, or programming language I'm writing in, is I like to save the file immediately before you start to code, and you need to do this. So let's save it. I'm going to navigate through that, so I'm going to go back to my desktop, into the carry folder, into the unit 1 folder, into the about me folder, and I think a nice name for this file is about me. But don't just save it right away. Uh, many programs know the format that they need you to save them in. When we're writing a program, it actually depends what the file extension is. So in this case, because it's HTML, we write .html. If you forgot to do this, you're going to need to uh, resave the file. I'll show you how in a second. But about me.html. If you forget to do .html, you're going to need to uh, file save as and then resave it with the .html encoding. Okay, so now if we want to see our HTML file, you can see that it's already ready to load in Google Chrome, and that's because it's, Google Chrome is the default program on my computer for opening HTML files. If you have a different web browser there, you should really do this. Control click, open with, and Google Chrome. So now uh, our web page pops up right here. So uh, in order to start editing things on the web page, we're going to be using the, the fundamental idea with HTML syntax, which is we're trying to provide all of the content on our page and also mark what type of structure we're using. So the first thing I want to do is I want to have a big header on my page that says uh, about me. So actually, let me open up that old about me uh, old about me file. So let's see, where was that? That was in my Dropbox, this one, uh, this example projects, this one. Uh, OK, so this was this one. Uh, let me reopen my new one. So the first thing we want to have is we want to have, oops, let me reopen our new one. Our new one's on our desktop, carry folder, unit one, about me, about me. Okay, so uh, we've got our brand new file, but just using this one as a template, we want to have a big about me uh, header right there. And the way we do that in HTML is we do a left angle bracket, and then we write h1 for header one, that's the largest header on our page, right angle bracket. Uh, now Sublime Text is smart enough that it will actually, uh, well, actually, let me just do it like this. So I want to write about me, and then I need some way to signal to it that I'm done with the header. And the way you signal to it 
is you do left angle bracket slash, and Sublime Text is smart enough to automatically uh, finish off the tag for us. So a couple of vocabulary words. This is called an opening tag because it opens the header. This is called a closing tag because it closes the header. Um, this is, these together are called, um, oops, sorry, together these are called tags because uh, they're opening and closing tags. And the stuff in between is called the uh, text or inner HTML. All right, so now we've got this. Uh, if we want to see our new file, we just press the refresh button and it will reload it. Uh, and now we can see that it's constructed from this recipe, a big header there. Now the next thing is it looks like we've got another header, but it's a little bit smaller. So to get that header, we're going to use a header two. So left angle bracket, header two, right angle bracket. Now my preference is actually to uh, immediately close the tab and then to fill in the space in between as though they were parentheses with the content, the text, the inner HTML that I want inside of the header two. So all about carry. And now we've got a smaller header. Uh, next up, we're going to have our first section. And for me, that first section, I'm going to put another enter here. It won't actually change the way the web page looks, but it will make my code more readable which is a big thing in our class. We want readable code for ourselves, for our grader, and also for our peers who might be working with us on these projects. In the professional world, very rarely will you be the only one working on a web page, and so you need to have code that's readable by other people. Now I'm going to create another smaller header, and I think you get the pattern now. H3 would be a smaller regular header. Uh, and so maybe this one will be my biography. And there's nothing that says I can only have one H1. If I wanted to copy this and put this down here, I'll still have a big about me appear on the screen because that was our uh, H1 header one uh, section, or element, sorry. All right, but I don't want that. I just want to start off with a biography. Now I'm actually done with the headers. Uh, the next part I want to include is a paragraph of text. And so I'm going to do left angle bracket P. And there's only one kind of paragraph, so we don't put any numbers after it, right angle bracket. Uh, for me, I like to put the starting, sorry, the opening and closing tags immediately, and then fill in the inner HTML or text uh, now that I've got my parentheses set up. So uh, let's see what I wrote here. Uh, I live in Brooklyn, New York. I teach mathematics, uh, blah, blah, blah. So what I'm actually going to do is you don't want to see me type that. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. And I'm going to make sure that it lands inside of the inner HTML. So I'm going to paste it right there. Now when I go back to this About Me page and I save this, if you want, what I've been doing is Command S to save. I should have said that. But uh, every time I want to see the new version of the page, I have to save it and then refresh this. And I was using Command R to refresh it. I, I know you can't see my keyboard, but uh, I like to do keyboard tricks because they're faster. Next up, it looks like we need another paragraph for when I'm not at work. So I'm going to press Enter here. Uh, I'm going to press Enter here again. I like to leave that space. Another paragraph. Oops, I used a trick there that you don't know yet. So left angle bracket, P, right angle bracket, left angle bracket, slash, and it closes it automatically. And now I'm going to take this paragraph and I'm going to put this here. Now, the final thing is I have one more section. So uh, pause the video for a second, or actually don't pause it yet, but I'm going to ask you a question, see if you can answer it. If you need to, pause the video. What type of tag do you think I need to use for this favorite memory? Does it match any of the other tags that we had before? If you answered H3, you're correct. We need to have an H3 tag there. So uh, I'm going to do left angle bracket, H3, right angle bracket, left angle bracket, slash. And I'm going to fill this in with favorite memory. Another little quiz for yourself. Uh, what type of element are we going to have here? What type of tag do we need to use? If you answered a P tag, you're right, because it's a paragraph. Notice that there's only one kind of P tag. Last year, a lot of people would try P1 or P5 or something, but uh, there's only one P tag. So it's just P and then closing P tag. And uh, I'll copy and paste this to save you from having to watch me uh, erroneously type that. So I'll save this. I'll go back to my new About Me page, and I'll click the Refresh button. And now uh, the whole brand new web page appears on the screen. All right, so uh, I kind of cheated a little bit. Uh, 
in the example web page, I created some cool style, um, but we're going to be learning style in unit two when we study CSS. So for now, this is the extent that our about me page is going to look uh, look like. And then in unit two, you actually will be able to update your about me page so that it's as cool looking or cooler looking than this one. The last thing I wanted to finish the video with is um, I actually don't know everything about HTML, and I don't think you should either. The big thing that you should know about HTML is it's constructed using elements like this. So you have an opening tag, a closing tag, and then the thing that you want to appear inside of that, uh, the text or inner HTML. And if you want to see a list of all the possible tags, I don't have this list memorized. In fact, there's many of these I haven't used. But you could think about, okay, you might want to use audio, you might want to use uh, a button, I've used that one a lot, canvas we're going to use a lot. There's all these different things that you can put on your web page, uh, and they all work a little differently, but they all use these same ideas. One that's particularly interesting that we've talked a little about is the headings. Uh, if you want to create headings, we've used H1. There is no H7. It goes only up to H6, which is the smallest header. So uh, you can play around with those different headers uh, in class uh, when I see you next.